In this video, I am going to attempt to demonstrate whether or not an old Siloom uh, light stick expired. And let's see if we can see the expiration date. 609. So this guy has been expired for about four years now, since this is 2013. And this something this one has just been kicked around and in random boxes over the years that's why it's kind of in bad shape and uh, it's never really made it into any of my uh, survival or bug out or uh, uh, survival bags or anything of the sort and this is safety bright so let's uh, see what happens Now, in the event that this does work, I would say that this is not necessarily an indication that all of them will work. Um, it will just be this particular one. And I would say that that is glowing pretty good. kind of has that uh, toxic green look to it, the uh, zombie green. I don't know if it's showing up pretty good. Of course, I wasn't supposed to bend it after it's already uh, beginning to light. But uh, it is definitely casting a pretty good bit of light. And um, I can see fairly clearly around me. Um, you know, you really can't make out any details at this point yet. But uh, shapes and... Um, sizes of different objects are plainly uh, clear and as you saw this was expired as of 609 so that's June of 2009 and it is now June of 2013 uh, this is just one of those random tests that uh, avails itself from time to time. I had absolutely no intention of uh, doing anything like this. I just happened to come across it, noticed, you know, I was doing some cleaning up, uh, came across it in one of my old bins or boxes, um, noticed that the expiration date had long since passed, and uh, was just curious to see whether or not this thing would actually activate. And it uh, clearly seems to do so. So I'm just going to take this into my garage and uh, take another look at it. My camera is having a little difficulty uh, focusing on it in the, uh, the dimness. But there's one thing about light. It really doesn't take a lot of light to dispel the darkness and I think that's uh, plainly evident by uh, what I can actually see around me um, the camera is probably not going to pick it up uh, quite as well but with this thing even though it's five years well it's probably older than five but since it's uh, four years expired um, I would say that it uh, does a pretty good job of at least allowing me to make out shapes and I can if I were to use it uh, to traverse uh, some terrain that I'm not familiar with I think uh, just based upon the amount of light that is putting out I could probably do that uh, fairly easily of course you know you'd have to take your time um, as I said you can't really make out too much detail and um, I'm sure that certain things would be lost in the shadows, but um, you know certain uneven footing and such um, would be lost in the shadows, but it's uh, still better than nothing. It doesn't take much to be better than total darkness. Take down Bucksaw, which is something I have to do a review on. Let's see what we 
we have here. Okay. CO2. Splatter target. Guess that's the dirty bird. Yep. Okay, here's one of my East German uh, field packs. And my bicycle. So as I said, I mean, uh, I would have absolutely no issue moving around in an unfamiliar dark space with this. Just have to take your time and uh, his chair. And my compressor. And my generator, all waiting to go outside. And otherwise, pitch black.